Hey everybody, in this video we'll be walking through the basic fundamental charting tools on YCharts. To get to the fundamental charting tool, hover over tools and select fundamental chart. Once you're here, you'll be able to enter in any equity, mutual fund, index, or economic indicator into the securities search bar. For this example, I'm going to use Alaska Air Group. As you can see, that will chart price over time. However, if I was interested in a different financial metric, I can browse them by clicking on Browse and sorting through any of the categories. Or I can go to the search bar and type in the metric of my liking. When I hit Enter, that's going to graph P-E ratio and price on the same chart. However, if I wanted to see P-E ratio on a different chart, I'd scroll down on the left-hand side and choose panel per financial metric. As you can see, that will now graph price and P-E ratio on different charts. If I want to compare this to a competitor, I can go back up to the securities search bar and type in any competitor. I'll use Spirit Airlines, for example. Once I hit enter, that will give me Spirit and Alaska Air Group's price on, this one, on one chart and their P-E ratio on another. If I wanted to see the percentage change over time, I can scroll down on the left-hand side. Under Data Format, select Normalized, and that will give me a percentage change for the time period specified. If I wanted to compare these to an economic indicator, I'll simply remove PE ratio, switch the panel layout back to single panel, go back up to the securities search bar, and type in the price of jet fuel. Once I hit enter, US Gulf jet fuel spot price will be added to the chart along with Alaska Air Group and Spirit Airlines' percentage change in price. If I wanted to change the date range on this chart, I can come above the chart and select any of the pre-specified date ranges, or go to the right and click into the custom date range box and select the month select the year, and select the date. Once I do that, the chart will automatically update. That concludes this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support by hovering over support, clicking on contact us, and getting in touch with your customer support representative. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks.